I'm actually in Florida. And so like, just giving you a breakdown, if you're in Florida and you're watching this video and you're looking at like, well, should I do it in a strip mall? Yes, but you wanna do it in the strip mall that's actually has high visibility. Now the restaurant that we're in, it sits to the front facing side of the strip mall. So if you're looking at a strip mall and it's like you find the perfect location, what you think is the perfect location, but it sits on the back side of the building or something of that nature, we don't want to have our event space on the back side of anything. We don't want it, want it to be, um, we want it to kind of, kind of almost be in plain sight. And if we, and if it is on the backside, our marketing has to be. quick video um, so I'm at this location and I'm going to give you all some insight on why this is a bad place for an event space all right so they're obviously the windows are tenant but they're obviously doing construction here but you would think that this would be a great spot for an event space but here's the here's here's a few reasons why and then I'm gonna get an outside shot of it but I'll give you like three reasons why this is a bad spot for an event space all right, so let's see if we can get a shot on the inside of there. But basically, the three reasons why the spot behind me is a bad location for it for your event space. Let me go to the front doors here. Let me get to the front doors here. Let's see, you can see inside of there. Now, in terms of in terms of the size of it, in terms of the size of it, you got you got parking. You got parking here. Parking is right here. Hello, Mastermind family. I'm really excited to share this news with you. I just signed a lease yesterday for a 1,500 square feet space in Coppell, Texas. So I joined the program on March 1st of this year and signed the lease on May 1st. So about eight weeks into the program. And I just want to say thank you, Jarrell. Thank you for being a great mentor. You've really been a great mentor for me. Uh, I thank you for always being there to answer my questions, to respond to those emails, and thanks for those one-on-ones that I can schedule anytime. So I will update you with a video of the place and also a video of my grand opening. Talk to you soon. The size looks looks pretty decent. It's probably about 2,000 or, or 3,000 square feet behind me. But the reasons why this would be a bad location for your event space is number one, it is sitting off to the street so no one could be could, could actually see your your event location, event venue sign, and then they don't have big signs if you can see. That's the number that's the number one reason. They don't have a big sign in the front of this like mini mall area where you can actually see that you have an event space. Now you do see another business here. You see a, there's a liquor store there, but because for your event venue, no one would see your, no one would see your sign because of the trees behind me. And so it's gonna be a little bit harder for you to market it. All right, so that's the number one thing why it would be bad for your event space. The number two thing would be is because you're, it's in this, it's sitting on the side and there's, there's parking, but typically many malls like this, you're limited to a certain amount of parking. So this parking that we see right here, that's probably all you're gonna get for this location. So that's the number two reason, because th there's gonna be a limited amount of parking that you can use for this particular address. And this is all the same building. Like this is all the same address. We get, you, now the good thing, some of the good things about it, you got all these multiple doors here that we're walking past. You got the multiple doors. So multiple access points, so you can kind of set it up how you want to set it up. There's your mailbox. Now, the um, and then a good thing, another good thing is, is that where well, you have the security cameras. We got security cameras up there. 
But the third thing would be the third and I would say the most would be the fact that something like this, because I've been at this location before, something like this is not going to um, is it is not it's not going to be event space friendly. Hey, what's going on? I just want to say a very special thank you to Jarrell for helping me find an event space, being my mentor. If it wasn't for you, I don't think I would have a space right now. You know, the mastermind has been phenomenal. To anyone who wants to get in the event space business, I highly, highly recommend taking Jarrell's mastermind course because he walked us through every step from A to Z, told us about finding realtors, told us what websites to look on. Just He was just very helpful, gave us a lot of one-on-one -on -one advice. I was getting very frustrated in my search process and I would just call up Jarrell and he would coach me back, get my mind back in the game. So thank you so much. We just had our grand opening. Um, we flipped our space in three weeks and now we kind of seeing some inquiries coming in for bookings and stuff like that. So just want to send another thank you to Jarrell. If you're thinking about getting a mastermind course, make sure you go and get that. It is highly recommended, a lot of value. And for the price he is charging, you will be a fool not to get his mastermind course on event spaces. So once again, thank you, Jarrell. I can't repay you enough because I feel like you may have just changed my life with your course. So thank you. Um, just in general, it's not going to be event space friendly at all. The reason being is because you have other like more more style like it's either it's restaurants over here or office spaces over here. So you have the restaurants over here and you have the um you got a restaurant over here which I'm actually eating at and then you have a liquor store over here. But other than that, it's like offices and it's not really built up. So it looks kind of abandoned. So pretty much the third and final reason is because it looks abandoned. So because it looks abandoned, so so the, so you do have you do have a place there where they show what's here, but the the actual restaurant that I'm eating at is not on that. Um, it's not up there. So the the first reason you got your first reason being that there's not enough really like no one's gonna really be able to see. There, there's no there's not a good visual. No one's gonna really be able to see you see your sign because it's on the back side of the building. And sometimes we're getting we're getting locations that are on the back side of buildings or or that are that are just in bad just that's that's out of the line of sight. The second reason would be the parking. And then the third reason would be is this space event space friendly? And just thinking about it, like you wanna have when you when you when you're looking at your getting your event space. You want to have somewhere where it's going to be seemingly friendly for people to come in, have their events, no problem. If it's around a, a lot of other business offices and things like that, that may be an issue because they're going to be worried about the noise. They're going to be worried about these things. They're going to be worried about um, um, they're going to be worried about the trash being left there. They're going to be worried about a lot of different things. So I'm actually in Florida. And so, like, just giving you a breakdown, if you're in Florida and you're watching this video and you're looking at like, well, should I do it in a strip mall? Yes. But you want to do it in the strip mall that's actually have high visibility. Now, the restaurant that we're in, it sits to the front facing side of the strip mall. So if you're looking at a strip mall and it's like you find a perfect location, what you think is the perfect location, but it sits on the back side of the building or something of that nature. We don't want to have our event space on the back side of anything. We don't want it, want it to be um, we want it to kind of kind of almost be in plain sight. And if we and if it is on the back side, our marketing has to be um, your marketing strategy has to be a lot stronger so uh, right there um so your marketing strategy is going to have to be a, yeah your marketing strategy is going to be have to be a lot uh stronger if it's if you're on the back side of any building thank you thank you so your marketing strategy is going to be a, have to be a lot stronger if you're on the back side of any building reason being is because you there's no visibility there's no drive by at all or drive by traffic. And that's a big deal. Like people walking past, driving past, being able to see what it is that you're doing 
it makes it easier. If I, if, if I have to find it or I can't find it via the GPS, because you got to think not everybody is as thorough as you when it comes to looking for looking for a place. Like you may look very thoroughly. You may, you know, dig deep, spend, spend some time driving around the parking lot. But let's say you have an event for, you know, 50 to 100 people. Like I said, like one of the, one of the issues here is the parking. So you have an event for 50 to 100 people. People are driving around looking for parks in, in, in little private and private strip malls and mini malls like this where parking is already standard limited it's you're you're going to have to be you're, you're going to be really worried about we got another room can i get another four yes. <laughs> thank you let's put some of this over i'll take mine uh, okay you want to take these thank you this is the one that failed mm -hmm. thank you Everything looking good over here? Yeah, uh, we good. Yeah, we're awesome. good. Mm -hmm. Enjoy it. Okay. Would you like some ketchup? Uh, no, I'm good. You good? Uh, Enjoy, guys. And so, um, this mini mall has like a certain amount of park spirit. In in most mini malls, there are only going to be a certain amount of park spirit. So if you have, if you got this location that's 2,000 square feet, but you're telling you can only have 50 guests, you're gonna you're gonna lose out on some business. And people are going to be driving around trying to find a location. They're not going to be able to find it because it's going to sit on the backside or they're not going to be able to find it because there's no sign or they're going to miss the turn. Like when you're in something that's a mini mall or, or shared space, you got to think about all the factors. You got to think all the way about parking. You got to think all the way about visibility. Like visibility is super important. Like our event spaces are they sit on the main street. So it's like you're on the main street. You're not going to miss them. And then it's and then you got to be able to you got to be able to point out other uh other businesses and locations and things like this like and for example um we are on the right side of the nail shop if you're if you're headed south or we're on the left side of the uh, we're on the left side of the we're on the left side of the 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 uh the office store if you're headed north or if you're headed west like you, you got to be able to point out landmarks for people in terms of uh traveling when, when it's their first time seeing your location but you can't really point out landmarks when it's in a what is this like a private community office space type area where where like the mailboxes they don't even deliver the mail to the to the to the front of the office uh to each individual business it's being delivered actually to like a, cent a central location like i'm sure this restaurant is only limited to probably about 30 30 parking spots so imagine if you had an event space now this restaurant that we're at it's, it's about the size of that that other area that other location so if you have you get a location like that, now you're only going to be limited to a certain amount of spots. And on and on top of that, you're not sitting close to the street, so you don't have you got low visibility. And on top of that, um, and on top of that, uh, it's not really event space friendly, even though they'll let you sign the lease here. That's what you have to be cautious about. You got to think like, is this really going to be a friendly environment for my business? Even even if they let me sign a lease, we don't have to take the first deal just because that deal is offered to us. We got to be able to pick and choose and know whether or not which which deal is going to be the best, which deal is going to really work out. And, and the ways that you do that is you got to check off the boxes. What is your what are your deal breakers? That's why you got to know your why's. You got to know your what's. You got to know what are you, what are you looking to do? You got to know your, your target market. You got to know your avatar. You got to know a ton of different things. And if you don't know any of these things, what I want you to do is I want you to I have something down for you below. I want you to click the link down below and get something that i have for you that will help you on your event space journey all right so this video just just gave you a a quick synopsis of what locations not to look at or what would be a bad location for you and uh why it would be a bad location for you so uh, if you like the information in this video please definitely smash that like button um uh, definitely hit that subscribe button we are on the road to a million subscribers but before we get to a million we're gonna get to a thousand so i need you to help us get there let's go so that is it that is all um I'm rocking uh, today in this video. I'm rocking uh, um, a a another entrepreneur's brand. You know, you gotta support. Um, actually, I when he when he first came out with this, I thought this was really really dope. Um, I don't know him personally, but definitely support uh, the brand, the business. Um, uh, he's in one of the same spaces that that I'm in in terms of. Uh, um, I know he's a he's a trader. You know, he trades forex, but um, yeah, I, I really I really like the brand. So, but uh, yeah, that's. That's pretty much it. That's it. That's all I got. So um, thanks again for tuning in. And uh, man, y'all know what we're doing. We're creating habits. This is Jarrell, and I'm out. I'm about to eat.
I don't know why you haven't, but I'm telling you to do it now. Join the event space mastermind. If you're looking to start an event space business, a profitable event space business, if you're looking to, to earn an extra four to five figures a month, the event space industry, industry is for you. Why wouldn't you wanna join it? You have someone that's willing to teach you everything that it is that they know about it, all right? So right now, all you have to do is click the link down below if you're looking to join the event space mastermind if you're looking to join the the event space two-day venue training accelerator either one it's for you if you've been wanting to get into this industry but you haven't been you haven't had a lot of help you haven't been able to get into the industry i'm here to help you all you have to do right now is click the link down below and that starts the process let's get it let's go and i'll see you there peace